Hello everyone and welcome back to the Key Productive YouTube channel. So for those who don't know, Woven.com, which was a calendar application, has now discontinued. It has been acquired or bought by another software company. They haven't disclosed much more information. Today's video, we're going to give you some calendar alternatives that allow you to do some of the scheduling abilities that you would inside of Woven and also dive into that a little bit more. So firstly, I want to start this video with an apology. Last month, uh, I believe it was in February or March, our sponsor for the month was woven and of course uh, we pointed a lot of people towards the application and suddenly the news came out of nowhere that woven had naturally been discontinued and will be discontinued from the 28th of May 2021. Now I just wanted to apologize because um, it came as a shock to me but as you can imagine for those who have sort of jumped on board with Notion and invested maybe even time and money into setting it all up in the past month um, and over naturally the long term um, that must have been a pain so I'm really sorry Sorry, I didn't expect to hear the news like this, but at the same time, uh, I just wanted to apologize the fact that that happened. So what does it mean by joining another company? Well, I don't know, but I assume that one of the companies that are in the productivity sector or potentially in business workplace sector may have purchased Woven and their technologies to be able to implement in their, to their existing service. They haven't given much more detail than this, but all we know so far is that they are ending their service on the 20th. 8th of May. So when it comes to alternatives, what is there out there? Now, obviously, the great thing with Woven is it was just a calendar and a scheduling experience. So it sort of blended the two, which was really nice. I think it was the closest thing to Sunrise for the last couple of years. So I'm going to give a range of calendar and scheduling alternative applications. So the first of those, I think, is a really well-rounded calendar application is Fantastic Owl. Uh, it's a subscription-based iOS and Mac application that just looks gorgeous and it has tons more integrations like the one with Todoist more recently. It's probably the most well-rounded calendar application on the market, but does have $39 per year. We'll put the pricing below yearly subscriptions. So it is one that naturally uses subscriptions to continue running the service. There is a very similar other one called BusyCal 3, which is available as well. It looks similar to Fantastical, but in my opinion, doesn't do as much, at least in their latest versions. Now, if you're someone that wants to continue booking meetings, um, Calendly is probably the next go-to option it allows you to create this scheduling link which you can share with clients where you can share with other people and they can book a time with you integrated with your existing calendar in the free plan you get one um, sort of link so you can book uh, for example a 30 minute meeting but if you go for the paid plan you can then go and add like a 30 minute 45 minute version of that and I believe there's some paid one where for example you if you sell a, a consultancy as a service then you can pay uh, and set up a checkout through that calendarly so that it's all in one enclosed link. So next up is x.ai. This is an application that's been around since 2014, but it's a really cool AI based scheduling application. It embeds really with your email. So for example, if you're emailing and you want to book a time instead of having to go back and forth, you BCC the AI system inside of there and they will automatically start a dialogue with the other person suggesting uh, times and recommend recommending slots that you are free and then it will automatically work with that person in the background to help set that up. They do have a free plan but it's eight dollars per month for the pro plan which I believe gives you access to unlimited calendar events uh, which I'm not sure the free plan does entirely however it's worth checking out because AI is obviously gonna serve a good role in the future of productivity. So another one which I thought was uh, pretty attractive in terms of its scheduling abilities and it does compete with the likes of Woven to some extent is a calendar application called Savvy Cal. It's more of a I'd say used by marketers and those who routinely book appointments externally but it has a really lovely UI and allows you to book meetings with another person very very easily very seamlessly. Uh, it's probably one of the most best looking ones out there if design is one of your major points. So finally I wanted to recommend two more. Time Page by Moleskin. I think is the most attractive iOS calendar out there. If you've got an iPad or an iPhone, it looks gorgeous. It's a subscription-based application and comes, if you buy the subscription, with other Moleskin suite applications. And boy, does it look good. Brings you the weather, analyzes your commute if you have one, and also helps you to make changes and recommendations on your calendar inside of the application. The final recommendation is one that's not yet released. It's called Daybridge. Now, this could be perfect timing for Daybridge. As Woven sets um, and goes away, uh, Daybridge could come in 
in here and perfectly place itself as the next next sunrise alternative um i was already touting it as the woven competitor of this year but now woven's potentially gone in the future it could mean that um daybridge brings in the the new sort of mainstream option and i'm keeping an eye on it personally as potentially my calendar um but what i'm going to go with at the moment is probably just stick with apple calendar uh, until uh, with a con google connection until i'm actually comfortable what option i'd like to go with in the long term it's a real pain because i've been using woven for like two or three years <laughs> and i really enjoyed using it especially the the scheduling abilities um that has been a, a god god sent the last couple of months uh, for sure and i definitely think the calendar space is really underrated in the productivity realm um and it's something that I'm not sure some people are trying to solve with like these new focus tools, but I'm not sure whether anybody's got uh, a good package at the moment. But we'll see in the next couple of months as Daybridge releases, as we want uh, understand what happened with Woven in the future. So exciting times for calendar ahead, hopefully, but uh, bring on 2021 for the calendar app space. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please do hit um, the subscribe button and watch the next video. Um, it'd be great to have you here in the community and uh, look forward to talking to you soon. Cheerio.